Our condolences go out to comedian Fuquan Johnson and two other victims in a suspected drug overdose this past Friday in Venice, Los Angeles. According to TMZ, Johnson, who was a family friend to the members of the Waynes family, was pronounced dead when police arrived while another comedian, Kate Quigley, was transported to the hospital. Although autopsies haven't been completed yet, investigators say the victims ingested cocaine laced with fentanyl. As soon as the news hit, many comedians like Marlon and Damian Dante Waynes and Lil Duval shared their thoughts and prayers on Johnson and the other victims in the case. Today on the show, we have our comedy hype analyst, Vanessa Fraction, Capone, and Pierre on the show to react to the tragic passing of a beloved comedian. Now, this isn't a new conversation in our, you know, in our culture, in our community, um, and a lot of comedians are stepping in to, to chime in on this. I want to start with Marlon. Marlon writes a lengthy post giving his sentiments and, you know, also roasting his friend a little bit. He says some of the things like, I miss you like your head misses your hairline. You used to shop at my house like Costco. I'll miss your Morgan Freeman moles that stood upon your old young face. And he also goes on to say, thank you, nephew. I effing love you. I hope you found peace. You're always giving me a chin check, keeping me on my toes and keeping me grounded. And I think just going through some of these, a lot of comedians feel that same sentiment with him. You know, he goes on to mention Damian Dante and his sentiments to him because they were close. Damian then also writes a lengthy post expressing his heartbreak and loss and ending by saying, I love you, Fuquan Latif Johnson. I know, I know. I can hear you now. Stop that mornish, D-Rock. You're making it seem like we dating, son. You better than that. Nah, Fu, you made me better, and for that, I will always cherish you. R.I.P. my best friend. That spite will always be held by you. Indeed, love is love. Now, I want to go around. I know this is a, a tough conversation. It's never easy to, you know, chime in on these. Uh, Pierre, I'll start with you. What was your reaction, you know, seeing this news break out? Um, first of all, I, I don't know the gentleman at all. Um, so I'm going to speak it from an outsider. Um, but he's part of the comedy fraternity, you know, him and the other comedian. And it's sad when we keep, you know, when we lose somebody, and especially from a drug overdose, you know, it's really like, um, I don't do drugs, so I can't really speak heavily on it, but I just feel like sometimes, you know, we get out here to Hollywood, but any place, a party atmosphere, we feel like we want to fit in and do what the rest of them do, and we get drawn into doing that stuff, and we see drug overdoses all the time. There's been many a celebrity comedians, you know, plenty of them get it, and I guess we feel like it ain't going to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I myself wouldn't ingest anything. I ain't put nothing in my body that I ain't come up with. You know, it just I just I just wouldn't do it. But again, I'm not that gentleman. I don't know what he's went through. I feel sorry for him, the Wayne's family, his family itself. But um, we got to be more cognizant of uh, our lives and what our lives mean to you know uh, other people. If we don't care about it for ourselves, that you know taking drugs, it's just especially a heavy drug like that. You don't know what's inside a drug sometimes like that. You know, it's crazy and. Again, as I say, rest in peace, young brother. Um, you know, sad another soldier of comedy is missing and another, the other young lady is missing too. But you got to be careful with them drugs, man. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know if it's worth partying like that. Now, Vanessa, I, I want to come to you because I know you actually had a relationship with Fuquan. What, what was your reactions when you got the news? Heartbroken, you know. Um, I'm hot on the inside right now, you know, just talking about it and having to have this kind of conversation. Whose energy was off the chain always. I appreciate that, brother. Um, I got the opportunity to be on Second Generation Wayans um, with Damian Dante and with um, Craig Wayans and things like that. And going on set, who's like that first one to be like, yeah, you made it on one of the episodes, you know, just that great energy. Um, we used to go running and run in Canyon. I stayed right by there when I lived out in LA and I would meet those brothers um, to run up the mountain and just, just uh, heartbroken. Um, I can't say I'm, I definitely have done drugs. I've definitely done party drugs. I've, you know, um, so I think that it hits in another space in me too, knowing that, you know, um, that we do gamble and put our life on the line, you know, when we decide to do things like that. So um, I don't know how much I, that, yeah. So yes, no, definitely yeah, heart, I, definitely heartbroken, um, definitely because of the circumstance as well. Um, and definitely understanding how fragile, um, life is and can be. Absolutely. Now, Capone, I want to come to you. What was your reaction when, you, when the news first broke? Uh, I have to agree with Pierre all the way. I, I never worked with a dude, don't, don't know him, not trying to sound. Like, I'm not sentimental towards uh, the tragedy that's happened, but uh, people that do these type of things, that's taking these type of risks and like he said, putting these different things in their body and, and, and trying to fit into, you know, that's it seems to be a, a, a ongoing thing with entertainers that 
this is the way you fit in. And even, you know, the big producers kind of push it on you and all that. Not to say that you have to take it because I've never used drugs or had a drink in my life. And I just feel bad that people don't make these wise decisions to better themselves and they easily to fall prey to the things that can really do harm to them. Can I jump in real quick and just say that um, it's not always that you're trying to fit in. Again, I can honestly say I've done drugs before and it's not because I'm trying to fit in. There's a myriad of reasons why people do what they do. Um, I will agree with um, Capone and Pierre that you do put your life at risk. You know what I'm saying? When you do do these things for whatever reason that you might do them. I just wanted to say that it's not always because you're trying to fit into something, you know? Right, and I think you guys are are hitting, you know, the head, the the nail right on the head because a lot of people are, you know, stepping up. One of those being Lil Duval, who states, "Everybody I know that died like this swore they connect was legit." Shaking my head, leave them pills alone and coke alone. It's all stepped on, and you gonna die. I hear about fentanyl deaths more than corona deaths in the hood. How many more examples y'all need? And I think that's just kind of speaking to the sentiments of, you know, in our community and whether it's, you know, in a comedic space or just in our culture, we see a lot of these, you know, we're seeing people die and pass away from these overdose. So to be able to, you know, hear from you all and say, you know, we're, we, you're putting your life on the line and to kind of step back from that, I think it's something that our community definitely needs to hear. Right. Duval saying about the hood, man, the hood sometimes doesn't have a bright light. And, you know, a lot of it's depression and not things working. So they, so drugs sometimes take you away from that, you know, right. mentally or the daily struggles of what you see that isn't really great. And people do that to sometimes get escape. It's escapism, you know, not necessarily peer pressure. It's escapism of that kind of situation. And unfortunately, yeah. people are playing with you, you know, with your life, with ones who got the drugs. They may cut it with too much of this, too much of that. You don't know until you ingest it if it was a the right might be a lethal situation that's I, and I was gonna say and i think that's why it's good for people to you know step up and use their platform to say you know hey i know you know that you know whatever the case may be those drugs are just leading to things that we don't want you know seeing people pass away from these overdoses so i definitely appreciate you guys for chiming in because it does add to that conversation like you said pierre we have no idea what people are using it for um vanessa i know you spoke to that as well so just to be able to hear from you all as well as others i think definitely puts it on the forefront so I appreciate you all for chiming in and we do send our sentiments and our condolences to everyone's family. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.